What is this, man? It's the future, man. It's the future, man. <clears throat> Hello, future. Everybody of the future, hopefully you don't have coronavirus anymore. Today is Tuesday, December 15th. It is 6.56 p.m. I got home from work maybe 40 minutes ago. No, probably no, like an hour ago, an hour ago actually. Just took a shower. Uh, now I am about to deconstruct a blazer that I thrifted a little while ago. And I really like the blazer, but it's not something that I would wear consistently. I, I do want to start to transition my style. I, I, have, I was looking at uh, blazers and just like some uh, slim dress pants today. Black, very just black and white. I'm trying to transition my wardrobe. With each collection, I'm, I am going to drastically change aspects about my life. So for collection one, coronavirus. It hit, we were in lockdown. I was on unemployment. I was broke as a joke. Broke as a motherfucker, but made a collection. I made a collection with what I had, with the resources in front of me, with the bare minimum, and I really pushed myself, and I love it. I love collection one. But now that I finished collection one, and now that it's time for collection two, I had to really think, like, I need to improve my life. I need to be able to put a lot of money into collection two for material, for a serger, for anything else that I need, you know, thread, all that other bullshit. Uh, also for fabric. You know, I want to, or not I want, no want, no try, we do. I am going to get just much better fabric. Uh, start putting more money into better fabric so the pieces are just higher quality and really being able to show you guys the direction that I want. No. Really be able to show you guys the direction that I'm going in. I'm really going to be taking the steps, you know, taking a risk. That's what I fuck with about artists. Artists that really take risks. You may not always agree with it, but I don't know. You, even if you don't agree with it, you still have to, you know, pay your respect to somebody. And like, if someone's willing to step out of their comfort zone or push themselves to try and do something, you know, to be able to create the best product that they can create, even if it's not what I would do, I commend them. I'm gonna be deconstructing a blazer tonight. There's gonna be a dope ass fucking overcoat in collection two. And I'm going to be using the blazer as a pattern, but then obviously some things I wanna alter about it. Shoulders, length, gonna add some shit. It's gonna be fucking cool, I'm stoked. I'm stoked, stoked as fuck. About to go on Instagram live, do this shit. And we're being patient. Patience is key. You are only racing yourself. No one else matters. If you look at other people that are same age, same position, anything, but if they seem more successful, it doesn't matter. That's not your life. Focus on your life and you improve your life. You focus on what you want to do. You remember where you came from and who you are and you can see the progress that you made. And it's amazing. Time for work. I'm taking this apart. This fucking blazer. Stay curious, my friends. Max Mill, this is what you fucking taught me.
Hello, lovely people, everybody of the future. 2030, what the fuck is up? I am... Um, today's Wednesday, the 16th. Wednesday, December 16th. Um, I'm about to upload a vlog right now, vlog number six. Uh, last night, I was deconstructing that blazer, and I like it, but I have another jacket that I don't wear that I'm actually going to take apart today at work because it's been super slow. So I'm gonna take it apart at work, I'm gonna bring y'all along with me, and then when I get home tonight, I'm gonna make a pattern. So I'm gonna deconstruct it at work, and then make a pattern tonight. I'm editing a video. Vlog 006. Pizza. Actually. <laughs> editing a vlog 006. Ownership. Pizza. Andiamo! I'll bring it on in a second when I get changed. 187, still is the heaven. Last week, I got one five, I get a rich in peace. Ain't no matter rap, I'm sending that truck, I'm gonna ride them like, yeah. I'm a hunter, I ain't talking shit. Good morning, future. It's the 16th still. It's not like the next day happened since the last time I put the video camera out. I'm going to work. So you saw me deconstructing that blazer last night. Well, I have another like vintage Patagonia jacket I got from when I worked at uh, their retail store up in Pasadena. I got a jacket from there that the zipper's broken and I like the jacket, but I don't like it enough to go and like get it fixed. I like it enough to want to use it as a pattern. So I brought that with me. I'm gonna do that at work. Work has been hella slow and I'd much rather be productive in some way than you know just sit around. I've been sketching. I like sketched the whole collection. I've been writing a lot of stuff out but still staying productive people. You can always find a way. Even if you have a day job you can always find a way to work towards your goal. To do your hustle to continue taking those steps towards doing what you want to do with your life. You can always do it. It may be hard, it may be difficult, but you can do it. I believe in you, but I believe in myself. And that is what you need. You need to believe in yourself. I'll bring you all out in a second. I love you. Stop playing, bitch, you know we the truth. Oh God. First off, bitch, know who you be talking to. Glitter balls on my neck when I'm walking through. What's good, motherfuckers? I am on break right now, lunch at my fucking job. Going to the post office, I have a bucket hat to ship. Uh, somebody purchased a bucket hat from Collection One recently. So I gotta go ship that. And then after that, I need to fucking call bitch ass Sally Mae about these motherfucking lame ass student loans. Gotta try and figure that shit out. And while I'm doing that, I will finish deconstructing that jacket. Staying busy, even though we on break. And we at work. We working at work, on break, at work. Stop fucking playing with me. We here. We shipping out a hat and a CD. I'll show you the inside.
So I just uh, shipped out that package. Smooth, easy, perfect. Thank you to the person who ordered that. And thank you to everyone else who has ordered so far for Collection 1. There's still some pieces up on the website. Fucking www.jakekelly.online. Check that shit out. It's literally the best clothing collection to drop all year. No one's on my level. And uh, we're only going to keep getting better. So, if you're not on it now, get on that shit. Because Collection 1... Those are going to be collectibles. First editions. Think about that. Alright, I got to fucking call bitch ass Sally Mae. Get this dumb ass fucking loan shit figured out. I'll talk to you in a little bit. What's up? I'm about to go home. 4.54 p.m. Wednesday, December 16th. I deconstructed that jacket. I am very excited to make the pattern for it tonight. But I gotta get my ass home first. I'll bring y'all out when I get back home. Hope you had a good ass day. Peace. What's poppin'? So, remember the other day when I went thrifting with all my homies and I got those jeans, those 501s? Well, I looked them up today on the internet, the greatest invention. They were, they were too big. I mean, you know, they were my exact size. I wear like a 32, 34 and like a 33, 34 is probably perfect, but, or a 31, 34 is probably perfect. It's not always the easiest size to find. So I got those jeans and I love them. I love everything about them. But the one thing I don't like about them is that they are a little bit too big, a little too baggy, a little too wide. So I looked them up and you can shrink them. What I did, or what you're supposed to do, is you get really fucking hot water and you submerge the jeans and uh, you put it in there I have like this big ass water bottle and another one just filled with water to hold it down. And then when you close everything up, you keep the pants in there for an hour, for 60 minutes. So for, after 60 minutes, uh, I will take those out and then I will do the next step. This will be a cool process. I just want them to, you know, fit a little better. I like... I've really been, you know, focusing on my personal style as well as the style of the clothes that I am producing and will produce in the future. And for my personal style, I'm trying to wear slimmer clothes, slimmer pants. Um, I like when things do fall at my waist or like around my waist, you know, a little, maybe like an inch or two below, which is something I do transfer over into my brand because proportions are everything. You know, and of course everybody is beautiful and everybody should feel confident in themselves. And if there is something about themselves they want to change, that should be up to them. But they should want to change it and they should change it. But anyway, proportions. Proportions are beauty in the eyes of the beholder. Proportions are beauty in the eyes of the beholder. There's an Instagram caption for you. But proportions can be everything. Proportions can accentuate certain figures or cert yeah, certain features about an individual's figure that can make them more attractive to other people and to themselves, make them feel good about themselves. But everybody likes certain things about people. You know, there's always some things that you are attracted to about a person more than another person. 
So yeah, I'm gonna keep doing these pants, and then while those are soaking, I'm going to do this pattern for the overcoat. Did I say that? It's a leak. It's a glitch. I'll bring it out in a minute. Sleeve. Other sleeve. Back. Front side, other front. So I'm making a coat and I deconstructed this so I could use it as a base for the pattern. But the final coat that I want to make isn't anything like this. It's not like a sport wear coat or anything like that. It's, you guys will see. But even, I'm, I'm gonna alter the shape, but I just liked the fit of this. I was never going to wear it, but I liked the fit of it, so I'm just going to uh, trace that pattern down and then alter the pattern to what I want. Fit. That's all it takes, just a base, and then from the base you expand. Hello, I just emptied the water from the tub that my uh, denim was in. Here it is now in the bathtub, can't really see it. Then what you do, the next step, you put a towel underneath it and you walk on the towel. You squeeze it all out and then you let it uh, dry, you let it sit there for I think it said about 45 minutes and then you take it out and then actually the last step is you wear it. So it's still gonna be damp but when you do that it's supposed to form to your body and, and fit to your body so I read online that you should put it on and fucking do lunges or fucking do some squats or some bullshit, I don't know. But I'm gonna do that. I'll update y'all soon. Yup, yup. Shout out Joey Diaz. I mean, okay, so I don't, I don't know about y'all, but I just love the process, you know? I don't, I don't know the exact perfect way to do everything, but I'm not going to not do my ideas because I don't know how to do something the way that they fucking teach you in school or I don't know the way to do something as someone who has been doing it for 20 years or some shit like that. I need to make a pattern so I can make a jacket so I'm going to make the pattern how I want to and how I understand. So that's what I'm doing. And you can do that too! Don't think just because you don't know how to do it the same way they do it at fucking Louis Vuitton means that you can't do it. Because you can. Just figure it out. Hello, lovely people of the future. So that's done. So I'm going to need four different patterns. There are four panels that make up the base of this coat. The body of this coat. I am exhausted. It's been a long week. I haven't been sleeping that well recently, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't really know what it is. I just, like, I'll feel tired, but I just can't fall asleep. And then I've been waking up a lot in, in the middle of the night. I don't know what it is. I have been pretty stressed out lately. And I also know from experience that stress definitely fucks with your sleep. This hasn't been the first time in my life I've been incredibly stressed, but what does Jake Kelly always do? Jake Kelly always figures it out. Alright, so I finished that one pattern tonight. I am going to go brush my teeth, go wash my face, and I'm going to go to bed. I got to get up at like 6.30 to get ready for work. I will see you guys soon. I love all of you. Have a good ass day, and 
Don't let any negativity bring you down. Don't let any naysayers, any lame, lazy, boring motherfuckers take you away from your goals and what you want to do with your life. I love you all. Have a good night. Peace.